Hello, after this quick video tutorial, you'll know how to insert boundaries onto your mind map. Now, boundaries enable you to graphically attract attention to one topic and all of its subtopics or children. And there are lots of options available on MyMeister for customizing your boundaries. You can select from multiple shapes, borders, types, and styles, change the background color to create visually appealing mind maps. So I'm going to show you how to do that. If you go over to the toggle, the toggle sidebar rather, and click on this little symbol here where it says boundary, and you'll see that MyMeister offers uh, a few boundaries to choose from. So let me just click on Monday. If I want to group everything under one boundary on Monday, I can click on the boundary that takes my fancy and you'll see that everything comes under the same branch. Now, if you want to change this boundary or if the default boundaries don't really appeal to you, you can do so by clicking on Customize. And Customize opens a new window and you are literally free to customize and design the boundary however you want. So for example, if you want to change the shape, MyMeister has a few shapes here on offer. I'm going to collect, select sorry, this rectangular shape here. I'm going to change the color by pressing on the color palette and selecting a color that I like. I'm going to go for a green color. And I quite like the idea of having a thick border. So here you can change the width and the line length of your border and the color we've just changed. So I'm going to leave that as it is because I won't be able to see, I want to be able to see the background. If I click OK, you'll see that I've managed to create a nice new boundary to put everything under Friday into one boundary. So there you have it. That's how to insert boundaries and how to customize them using MyMeister.